Yuki got points. Yeah. His home race. It's so exciting. Um, yeah. It's the first time he scored points in his home race. Yeah, ever. He he has typically not performed the best in Suzuka. Obviously, if you're not, you know, scoring points, you're not in the top 10. Um, but, and I think he might have even DNF'd at least one of those races. Um, but yeah, he's the first Japanese driver since Kimi uh, Kobayashi, who finished third in Japan in 2012, to finish with in the points at their home race in Japan. Yeah. Um, also, it's so funny to me, again, I know I've mentioned this a thousand times, but for us to be like, oh yeah, it's the first time he's ever scored points in his home race. I'm like, well, it's only like his second home race. And I'm like, he's no, fourth. He, he's not, he's been here for a while. I don't know why, but I can't, I think it's just because he's so little and so cute. Yeah, he just, he, we, we talked about like, he just feels like a rookie still, even though he's yeah. very experienced in Formula One and is finally in this season showing off that experience. Yeah. Um, and so one of the things that I want to point out with Yuki that I, I kind of didn't realize was actually something really interesting um, until the pre-show last night was um, he was um, being interviewed by Ted Kravitz for Sky and pointed out that Honda is going to be leaving the Red Bull family and joining Aston Martin in 2026. Um, and so the question is, will Yuki stay with Red Bull or will he, as a Honda driver who is, his contract is being paid out by Honda, he's not, you know, being paid by Visa Cash App RB. So will he go or will he stay? Well, first of all, this has Daddy Stroll written all over it. Of, of like, course. oh, Red Bull's good. I'll just, you know. Take their engine. Take their engine. Um, God, I don't know. And I, I okay, here's the thing. I think it's gonna, it would have taken a lot for Honda to leave Red Bull and join Aston Martin, right? Because they're winning. They're doing amazing things. Like, why, why would you leave? I think Lawrence threw a lot of money at at them and I think with that he has to bring Yuki I don't yeah I don't I don't think well especially like with Liam Lawson being around I could see them bringing him up but I mean it's going to depend on how Danny does so maybe they keep Yuki in you know V carb but I I don't know. I think Honda wants a competitive Japanese driver and Yuki has shown he can outdrive the car. He's outdriving Daniel every single weekend. He's doing really well. Um, I, I don't, that's, it's super interesting because then you look at Aston Martin, it's like, well, who's getting the boot? You're not going to kick out unless Lance goes to like, go play video games and ride his, his bicycle all over the world. But I don't think daddy's going to be very happy about that. And hey, the rumor Daniel, was tennis. Remember? Oh, I forgot. I'm so sorry. It was tennis. <laughs> He'll be playing pickleball before you know it. Um, or paddle, whatever they play. But I don't see Fernando Alonso leaving either because I think he's really enjoying his time there. And it came out, you know, he said, why would I leave and go to Mercedes when they're doing worse than we are? Like, I'm, that's not looking attractive. So unless they actually kick Fernando to the curb, which I don't think they will, because I think him and Lawrence have like this weird father-son relationship. Um I don't know. Like I could, I can see it happening, but I just don't know how the other chips will fall. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. That was I like word totally... vomit. I understand. Well, but... well, no, I totally can see it happening. Cause here's the thing. This is not happening until the 2026 season. Um, Fernando is still on the fence of whether he is going to stay in formula one through another, a new um, regulation change. He's, you know, dep- he's going to be there till he dies. We know well, that. well, yes, he's going to stay on the grid forever. But the, the thing is, is that, you know, if Fernando, you know, retires or wants to leave, I also, I think that this might be the best chance for Yuki to drive a car that is not a Toro Rosso Alpha Tauri Visa Cash App Red Bull would be to follow Honda, which, you know, in the interview, he was asked, you know, would he go or would he stay with the Red Bull family? And he really didn't like, you know, he demurred. And obviously this wouldn't be anything that would be announced until, you know, midway through the 2025 season at least i don't so believe this is... any timelines anymore Catherine. <laughs> okay expected you're you're right you're right expected timelines because obviously silly season is an absolute 
ish show these days. Kerfuffle. So I, it, it is a kerfuffle. So I, I don't, you know, there's not a rush on this. Obviously Yuki is out of contract this year with RB as with, you know, half the grid is out of contract. So it could be a, another, you know, a year long, a two year contract that would get him to 26. Um, and then 26, he can go and, you know, go to Aston Martin with Honda. Yeah, I, I honestly think, I don't think people appreciate and understand, like, the company relationships that actually truly affect the driver's seat. Right. Like, especially Honda. Honda is a huge one because Honda has Yuki's contract, plain and simple. So, yeah, on paper, cut and dry, Honda moving, I see Yuki moving because they have his contract, but he's out of a contract this season. So, I don't know. But I, I agree with you. I want to see Yuki in a truly competitive car because I think he's good enough and I think he's relaxed enough now from his rookie years of just being mad and yelling on the radio and crashing. Like, he's had clean drives for, you know, a while now, pending, like, uh, that one mechanical issue that he had. But yeah, he's been doing well. I would like to see him in a more competitive car than v Carver. Uh, Alphatari. Yeah, because, you know, not to, you know, say this in, in a mean way, but I don't think there's any chance at all of him going to Red Bull. I, no. I just don't see no. him going. I, I don't think that is on anyone's radar. You know, what, you know, Helmet Marco can say till the cows come home that he has to, you know, improve to be considered. But I just think that there are so many other better options for the second Red Bull seat that precludes Yuki at a time where, you know, Yuki may or may not want to be at RB forever. Um, and Aston Martin could pose a really interesting challenge, especially if Fernando Alonso is somewhere else. Yeah. And I honestly don't think they give him enough credit, Yuki. Like, well, no, they, they definitely don't. They bring in other people to like lead the team, and he ends up, you know, doing better. And right, sadly, I think they would consider Liam Lawson more seriously for Red Bull than Yuki, which isn't right, but I think that's how it would play out. Yeah, exactly. So well, I'd like I... to see him kind of leave and go somewhere where they, you know, appreciate and cherish him because he's and hopefully trainer. it's not a um alpine situation because oh, God, uh no. pierre left looking for a uh, better situation and is not in a better situation right now i'm sure he would rather yeah. take a an rb that is not great compared to what he's got at alpine yeah honestly we could talk for like five hours about seat switches and the musical chairs that will be 2020 yeah so at least I just I just wanted to toss this in just because I you know it I I no, it, it occurred to me last night and it is yeah. and it is a very interesting wrinkle that I don't think is going to impact for for 2025 but could be very impactful for 26 no I think it's a really good point and it's something we should continue to monitor oh and we will 